welcome back to my channel. My name is Amber and this is Amber Ned Store. Before we get started into today's video, be sure to hit the subscribe button and become a lifelong neighbor of the Amber Ned Store neighborhood. I would love to have you guys here forever and ever. Like this video all the way up so that other people of the other YouTube communities can become part of the Amber Ned Store neighborhood and we can become part of theirs. Comment down below, respectfully of course, share with your family and friends, and hit the notification bell so you know when Amber Ned Store is coming to your door. So without further ado, let's jump right into today's video. Welcome back you guys um, to another week here at Amber Ned Store. Thank you so much for um, celebrating with me my birthday. That's how I brought in the new year. That's how I spent my birthday and it was just one of the, probably one of the most best decisions I've ever made. Um, just to regroup and be refreshed and I just wanted to come here this week and kind of do that with you. I, I, you know you guys saw a little bit of it but I just wanted to actually verbalize it and just to share with you um my, my my state of mind and what like I guess my goal I don't like to like I don't have I guess I do have new year's resolution or the new year resolution or just goals but just personal affirmations and things that I want to um manifest here it being my last year in my 20s a lot on my mind this is usually a year that's like a lot of people dread a lot of people are scared of and that i just don't want that to be um me i don't want to dread um this year i want to like love it i want to enjoy it as best as i can with everything that's going on in the world but um yeah and i have a lot of new subscribers here versus last year i don't even know how many i had starting last year um to open up the year but I have a lot of new people who follow me and whether you watched old videos or not, there's I'm just constantly evolving. As we all are, we're all constantly evolving. And I just feel like I'm not the same Amber next door <laughs> as I was last year. I'm a whole different Amber. I've learned so many different things within the past decade, within the past five years, within the past year, within the past month. Um, so I just want to like reset regroup let you guys know what's going on what to expect here at Amberness store um not to say that too much is going to happen but it's just like this is who I am um within the past 60 days where I was in a car accident um but just last week like was really rocky like my um I lost my wallet it was little things like that was were was happening um, happened to me and it's just I realized that um, in those moments I realized that I put a lot of emphasis on material things I didn't realize that I don't think I'm a materialistic person but I realized oh my god like I'm really tripping over things that I cannot control things that can be replaced I don't want to say easily replaced but things that can be replaced and I don't want those things to take over me that's um, objects that's people there's so many different things that um, I cannot control. And that's one of the biggest lessons I think I've learned and I want to carry with me um, within this last year in my 20s, into my 30s. And it's like, I know I can't. I can't control um, the people who decide to stay in my life, the people who want to leave, the people, things that um, break, things that but yeah, overall, I just want that to be, like, my new way of thinking. Like, I cannot, things that I cannot control, I don't want that those things to hinder. Obviously, I'm allowing myself to feel what I need to feel in that moment, but I'm not gonna, I'm gonna give myself a time limit to feel that thing because life, as we can see, is going by super fast and um, it just goes on with or without us, literally. So, one of the biggest lessons. Um, I will carry on with me. As far as my channel goes, my channel is my channel. It's my channel. I will do whatever I want with it. Um, obviously, I started Amberland Store because I, you know, I want I wanted there to be more people that look like me um, on YouTube. Things that people who I can relate to. I feel like a lot of times when I'm on YouTube, or when I first started like going on YouTube before I started my channel, um, I didn't see 
a lot of women or a lot of girls talk about certain things and I just want to add myself into the pool and hopefully stand out so that there can be girls or men, women, children, you know, people who can look up to my channel. Look at my channel for advice, for just being unapologetically them. And I feel like I'm still not that. I feel like I still am searching for that, that, that thing that will make me feel unapologetically me. I feel like a lot of times I'm still covering up certain things, things that I say, things that I do to please certain people, but I can't do that. I have to literally be Amber, the girl next door, Amber next door. And that's the brand, that's where we're gonna keep going. But like I said, if you're new, this is just kind of a reintroduction to my life and who I am. And yeah, I'm 29 and we're going into a new decade. So I just really wanna um, just let it out. I guess it's like a venting session for me right now. Um, my little journal, you guys have a little, um, a little peek into my journal and how I'm feeling right now. Um, obviously, because it's my last year, my time, I'm thinking about where, where's my husband? <laughs> where's my husband? Where are these kids at? Even though I'm not like when it comes to kids, I mean, in my opinion, children are like one of the biggest blessings you could ever have. So when the day come, it's just that they're supposed to be here. I'm not gonna run something that's if I'm the vessel that needs to carry another person that's supposed to be in this world, okay. But yeah, I'm thinking about um, certain accomplishments that certain people um, have and do and surpass once they get to this age. You know, the house, the husband, the the how many however many figures you're supposed to be making and things like that cross my mind. But that all goes into the lesson of me just letting go and um really letting just life happen as I'm happy. Like, if I'm happy right now, I think my happiness is my main focus. So if I'm happy, I can't just, I can't force everything else. I'm just gonna keep going at my own pace and just let things happen as they're supposed to happen. Um, as far as relationships, you guys have been here for some of my, my drama, but um, I'm just learning and I'm praying more about um, discernment and just being able to read people and their energy around me if they truly like me for me. If they, you know, I have to be careful with that because I do consider myself, I wear my heart on my sleeve. And going into this chapter in my life, I had to protect myself from people who are, you know, who just want me for one thing or another, not all of me. Um, really recognizing the people who are here to stay and recognize the people who truly do admire all of me. Um, it's big for me. So, obviously, I want the boo, I want the man, I want the husband, but I don't know when that's happening, guys. <clears throat> Especially um, when, you, you know, dating, that's a whole different topic, dating in a pandemic. I, I guess that could, that could be an episode one day, <laughs> but... I just feel like my generation is just, mm, my goodness, it's so, there's so many layers to it. Um, and then when you add this, you know, the, the last, within the last year of pandemic happening, it's just, those layers combined with that, it's just like, it's almost disastrous and it's scary to jump in the game and to really um, open up to people and to allow them into your space, your personal space, your quarantine space, your bubble. Um, but again, that's a whole different topic. But though, these are the things that are on my radar. Marriage, um, um, owning a home, um, and all those things. As far as friendship and family, like the family and friendship, I think I do want to, I guess my goals are becoming a better sister. Um, just being more, you know, being in more communication with my siblings. And of course, if they want to be more open to communicating as well, because we all have so much going on. And I think that's part of my like daily prayer. Like I'm always praying for like my, my siblings in our individual homes because yeah, we're sisters and brothers, but we all have our own separate lives every single day. We all have something that we're going through every single day. So I guess that's just one of the things I want to be more just a better sister. I don't have um, my personal family. You know, uh, you know, I have family, but I don't have my own family yet. So, 
being a better sister, being a better daughter, just communicating with my parents who I thank God who I still have with me. I have both my parents' lives and I didn't real you don't realize there are so many people who don't have that. Um and I take it for granted for sure. For sure, for sure. So just being a better daughter, being a better granddaughter, I have one more grandparent left and I, I realize that I'm not the best I'm not the best at communicating with a lot of my family. Like there I have my immediate family that I'm always talking to my best friends and I'm always talking to but there are certain people in my life that I do take for granted for being alive and for that I'm sorry a lot of times we let just life consume us and like social media because right there we take you know as long as I see them they're alive and they're posting and they're liking you know what I'm saying but I do want to take I don't want to take that for granted um as we learn life is so short um so yeah just being a better friend best friend a daughter um those are things that i value right now everything else is not that important to me i'm i'm so thankful to be able to still work um from home safely in this pandemic i'm thankful just for certain things that a lot of people right now are fighting for um so i'm so thankful for that so i'm just allowing life i'm just my main goal is to be safe to love the people who love me and just protect my heart and my soul and my mind. As far as Amber Night Store, the goal is to um, upload more on this channel. So I will be figuring that out <laughs> and connecting with people who can help me with that. Obviously, I'm one of those people who I can do it myself, I can do it myself. But I know the areas where I could use a little help in and to learn more so that this channel can grow and that you guys can grow with me. The goal is just more content that I want to put out and that you guys want to see at the same time. Um, marrying those two things sometimes can be hard. I know there are certain things that I post that are gonna get more views and there's certain things that I'm probably like, oh, I love this video and it's like, it gets like 10 views or something like that. And I don't want that to be like all in my mind. I don't, this is my channel because I, I'm here to do it. It's not my livelihood. Um, obviously one day that'll be cool and I can just be a full on YouTuber, that'll be great. But for now, it's something that I love to do and I don't want it to make me feel like, um, I don't want it to become something that, a chore. Um, and I feel like I've said that many, many times, but that's just what's on my mind. I'm just being a better daughter, friend, sister, niece, um, cousin, like, those things, those things that I hold dear to my heart and, and just acknowledging the people when it comes to new relationships, um, being able to really gauge the people who want to come into my life for certain reasons, being able to really see it before it happens. I have, no, I feel like I have no more energy left in me to be harmed or hurt and to have my heart broken. Even though those are things that happen in life, but I feel like, don't you feel like, oh, like, all right, I, I got it now, God. Like, I don't need that. I don't need that lesson no more. I really don't. I don't need those kind of lessons anymore. So I'm not in a big rush um, for those. Days. It's weird because some days I will be in a big rush, and that's all I talk about. I'm like, oh, where's my husband coming? And blah, 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 blah. and then sometimes it's like, look, oh, yeah, am I really ready for that? I love the like right now how silent it is. I love that everything is put the way it's supposed to be put, and. It's just like, I just gotta go with the flow. That's what we're doing at 29, just going with the flow. Giving myself all good things, things that I deserve, things that I've always wanted to do in, you know, within pandemic guidelines for now. Um, doing that and just letting everything else happen as it's supposed to happen. I, I, I can only control what I can control, which is getting up, going to work at my desk in the little room, um, making sure I eat, make sure I drink water, make sure, you know, I'm in, in, in communication with the people who I say I love and who want to be in communication with me. Everything else, um, I'm learning to just let go. Letting go of the things that I've let control me for so long, like, um, as far as relationships with people, my, my body image, my weight, fluctuates. I'm trying right now to crack the code when it comes to Amber and my body and what that means for me and getting to a place where I'm 
you know, happy with myself. But I, I'm also learning how to be happy with who I am right now. This is what you get right now. So there's just a lot of things that I want for this year. It's gonna, I know it's gonna go by super fast, but it's just something for, hopefully it can encourage other people when they watch this, but this is for me, honestly, to look back so I can just see how I started this year and where I end up in the, um, the end of the year. Or just something to look back on again. You know, if I'm going through something in the middle of the year and I'm just like, you know, we're just go back to the video. What you, what were you saying for yourself? What, what, what do you want? Why are you so distraught? I don't want to be distraught. I don't want to be crying over things. I just want to be happy. And I really feel like I'm in that place. Like, I can't control the people's emotions, how they feel about me. I can't, you know, there's only but so much you can do. Um, so yeah, that's just where I'm at. We're reset. Um, again, you'll see me next Wednesday and then hopefully soon. Obviously when it happens, when I have the actual set schedule to be for this channel, um, a new schedule, you guys will know. I know I've been saying it for the past few months, but you guys know how life goes. Things happen. So another thing I'm not even going to just focus on too much is like, when something happens, I plan on myself. When something is supposed to happen, it happens. I put my all into it, and it's gonna work. Um, I am a little bit of a perfectionist, so sometimes I hold off on things like my babies, and so I'm like, okay, it's ready to happen. Um, but don't worry, it's going. It's, I'm really excited. I'm so thankful that you guys are still here with me, um, and for people who are joining, like, thank you so much. I don't know what it is that makes you subscribe. I don't, I don't know, cause you don't have to. But thank you so much. Um, my heart is so full. Happy New Year again. Protect yourself. Stay safe. Um, love on those. Loving your family. Love on the, the, the people in your life who um, love you back. Um, and just we're getting through this together. I, that's the one thing that I, I don't want to say I love about last year and COVID. But I just love, I guess I do. <laughs> I just love how it, it forced us to shift our focus a little bit um, on the things that we just put in the back burner too often. We took a lot of things for granted and last year showed a lot of us to slow down, to refocus, to a lot of people's lives change for the better because of that. And I, we just wanna take that, I wanna take that into the years to come in this new decade that I'm about to be in. So thank you so much for watching. I don't even know what I'm gonna entitle this video. Maybe just um, yapping. I don't know. <laughs> we'll figure it out. But thank you so much. Um, I will see you guys next week, um, Wednesday at 6 p.m. here at Internet Store. So make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you become a neighbor. It's totally free. Comment down below, respectfully, of course. Don't please don't have YouTube like flag comments. So I gotta read. I don't wanna do that. Come down respectfully, share, share it how you can share it on your Instagram, on your stories, on Facebook, and a text message, you send a link to somebody, do that. Hit the notification bell because we all know that YouTube is forever changing and um, you never know when I'm uploading, what I'm doing, giveaways. I did a giveaway recently, and so, so thank you for those who participated in that and congratulations to those who won. Oh, you just wanna be in tune with Amber store. So thank you so much. I will see you guys next week at 6 p.m. Bye. Hey girl, bring it back. back, 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 back.